He says some of the stuff on Fox News he says here and doesn't even get in trouble. He's told me he, he gets in trouble. I'm not going to even say with who, but there's good people in the government. But the, at the same time, if they say too much, then obviously it could get a lot of people in trouble. But at the same time, if we don't expose this, we're going to lose everything anyways. I mean, it's gotten to that point. But how bombshell is that to have Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer, not just some average Lieutenant Colonel over supply, not that that's bad, but a Lieutenant Colonel over black operations against Al-Qaeda for a decade. And he got into that because previously he was involved going in and killing him himself in caves and facilities all over the Middle East saying our government's arming al-Qaeda, all the Syrian rebels are al-Qaeda, ISIS is al-Qaeda, and that memo says that Saudi Arabia was involved and our government covered it up and knew beforehand. Exactly what Sebel Edmonds, the FBI NSA translator, whistleblower said. It's criminal elements of our government running kids, drugs, weapons, you name it, with al-Qaeda. Joe Biggs, reporting from New York City. What is it like for you now to know that Colonel Schaefer, went public here yesterday that he'd been on the Hill yesterday briefing Congress in a closed door briefing and that he and others brief them at higher level than he is that indeed this is Al Qaeda said don't do it work with Assad to take them out if you're going to do it like Rand Paul said they're not going to do that they're going to go against Assad's wishes and actually give them weapons and money and now we know what the 28 pages shows as Ron Paul said clear evidence of a stand down. This is incredible. What is it like for you getting wounded, losing so many buddies over there to know this? Uh, quite frankly, Alex, it pisses me off to hear something like that. You know, Obama's even coming out last night in a speech saying that he wants to, once again, on the same anniversary as last year, on the eve of 9 11, goes and he tries to say that, you know, we want to go after Syria, we want to attack Assad. We are going to you know, weaponize basically and fund more of these FSA troops over there, the Free Syrian Army guys. But we already know from many reports that the FSA gives the weapons over to ISIS, and it's just this this huge circle. It just they it's crazy. fence the weapons. They're just a little happy face on Al Qaeda, so that the Pentagon can you know not get a rebellion of the troops, learning that we're funding Al Qaeda. Yeah, it's just another way to clear their name. They're uh, they're they're trying to they're clean their hands. Of they're it. They laundering it. it. They yeah, launder exactly. the weapons launder through weapons. FSA. Yes, that's exactly what is happening. You know, today we got out here, Alex, and this is a day that breaks my heart. You know that the country that I believed in, I loved, betrayed me. You know, the people that died on this day. And then the many people who died because they thought, like myself, we were fighting a just thing. We were trying to stand up for our country because our country had been attacked. You know, I wanted to do something that I thought at the time was very pure and for selfless reasons. I wasn't doing it for benefits, for college, anything like that. I didn't care about that. I wanted to come out here and I was willing to put my life on the line because I thought terrorists came over here and they attacked us and they killed thousands of people. And here I am now, 13 years later, and I know the truth. You know, I joined the military basically for no reason now. You know, everything that I thought that I fought for was a complete and total lie. And I lose sleep over that. It's a nightmare. And one thing that I hate is disrespect. And the fact that I passed a federal building, the flag is not at half mass. I went inside that federal building and I asked him, why are you... Why is a flag at half or not at half mass? If Nel when Nelson Mandela died, you guys had the flag at half mass. When Whitney Houston died, you had the flag at half mass. Why is the flag not at half mass on the 13th anniversary of the worst attacks on American soil? Well, they're done with it now. They won't let the first responders uh, or their families in to the event. It's all about Bloomberg to raise money for gun control. Yes, folks, his gun control foundation runs it. He gave it to his private foundation. What a pig. Yeah, they're charging the families to come in. Like Leanne said yesterday, it's like going to your son or daughter's funeral and being told you have to go pay to see the grave. It is the most ridiculous thing ever. Don't give them ideas. They'll actually put parking meters on the grave sites. Yeah, Joe, don't give them ideas. The <laughs> I predict within one year they're going to put parking meters on graves at, 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 at Arlington. I'm not kidding. Because, see, everything's over the top now, Joe. Have you heard Obama says, I'm not even joking now, have you heard Obama says no boots on the ground even though troops were officially sent, and he says ISIS is not Islamic? Yeah, that was a huge joke. I, I, I got into a, a really big rant last night when I heard that.
You guys have been filing some powerful reports. They're all up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I'm going to come back and talk to you more. Then we're going to talk to the lovely and talented Leanne McAdoo as well. Then we're going to open the phones up. For all our loyal listeners, Calvin Soap Company is proud to offer a month-long Labor Day sale. Get the Superstar 1200 Collection, 65 pounds of bars, laundry, dish soap, and shampoo. Ship freight free to the lower 48 at 5starsoap.com. Or enter to win the same Superstar 1200 Collection at GCNlive.com. The Superstar 1200 Collection is estimated to last up to two years and save up to $1,000. Sale and contest ends September 30th. Happiness is 5starsoap.com. In today's unstable environment, self-protection is critical. Civil unrest, riots, looting, it's happening now, right here in the United States, and your rights are at risk. If passed, H.R. 5344 would ban Level 3 and above body armor. KD Armor is standing up for you. We offer the most affordable Level 3 body armor on the market. KD Level 3 armor withstands pistol and rifle hits up to 762 NATO. Get yours at KDArmor.com. That's C-A-T-I-Armor.com. KD Armor, come and take it. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter. We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and in a word the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. agencies and you wanted to be able to overthrow the Bill of Rights and Constitution. You wanted to be able to establish a police state and attack any country you wanted. You would make a secret partnership with Saudi Arabia, who's been working with the West for over 100 years, and you would have them create laundered, black op, crazy armies that didn't even know who they were working for to run around and pillage Africa, the Middle East, Asia, you name it. So then they pull out, the West gets to come in and take over. 
and our troops get to die fighting them. Oh, it's a real war. They're real radical Islamicists, but they were turned loose, and now they've done it publicly in Libya and in Syria and in Egypt, and they think we're so dumb that we're now going to openly fund what Congress wouldn't fund last year and what Senator Cruz and Senator Paul spoke out against after we and others fought it. The military came out and said, we're not going to be the Air Force for Al-Qaeda. Now, okay, you'll be the Air Force for the rebels fighting Al-Qaeda, and you'll bomb any targets, we say, and they know Assad will start shooting on our aircraft because they're in their country, and then they'll go, oh, we're going to bomb Assad now too. So I would advise Syria, and I know they're not stupid, and I'm against war and I'm against Al-Qaeda, so I will openly tell Syria what I think they should do. And as a stranger than fiction, came out in the London Telegraph that the Syrian government does listen to the show and Assad listens and does actually base policy on this show. That sounds completely arrogant and crazy, but it is news, so I might as well just say it. I don't say that a lot because it sounds so crazy, but it, it's been in the British newspapers. They hacked Assad's computers and published a bunch of it. I've never been to Syria. I never talked to Assad. I'd like to go see the Roman and Greek ruins there. They're better than what's in Rome and Greece, they say. Just total intact cities of stuff that, that, by the way, ISIS is blowing up when they get to it. But uh, I just don't know. We articulate things so accurately from different angles that the Syrians listen to us. Take the bombing. Now, they'll probably false flag and shoot missiles at our aircraft anyways and blame it on you. Announce you're not going to shoot at the forces and then just sit there and say, we don't know why America's bombing us. It's all Because if you fight back, they're going to invade and they're going to murder everybody in the country who is an Al-Qaeda. You know they want to sack the country and blow it up and tear everything to pieces like the globalists like to do. And that's exactly basically what uh, Lieutenant Colonel Schaefer said. If we really wanted to get rid of Al-Qaeda, Joe Biggs, former staff sergeant, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, you know the region well. Wouldn't we go to Assad and team up to take them out? I mean, how do you bomb the, the bad rebels working with the good rebels when it's well known publicly that 65% are Al-Qaeda, Joe? And then, and then uh, I've been told it's over 95%. Schaefer wouldn't say it on air, but little birds told me that the Pentagon knows full well they're basically all Al-Qaeda, Joe. Yeah, I mean, they've completely... Taking up, taking up arms with ISIS. I mean, they have ditched all that. They are on ISIS side. They, our government wants this war with Syria so bad, it's mind blowing. They're so thirsty for blood. They want to topple that regime just like they did in Libya. They want to go, they want to start something with Russia. They're trying to get under Putin's skin, but he's not having it. These guys are out looking for a fight. They want another war. That's how we get those contract groups to get out there, make billions of dollars. That's all this is about at the end of the day. They want more and more money. They're just evil, blood-sucking vampires. And these globalist contractors and big banks that own them, there's not going to be anywhere to spend your money if you blow the earth up. Yeah, but they don't understand that. They're, they, right now, they, they're just so high on this power trip that they have that they don't even think about the results of what they're doing. I see that in personal life. We've all seen it. But when government acts like that, you get 20 million Germans killed thanks to Hitler. This time, it'll be everybody, Joe. I mean, the, the London Telegraph says, we've got to stop messing with Russia. It's going to cause nuclear war. That's usually a hawkish right-wing publication. Yep. I why are they, they saying want. that today? Because they're not insane. That's why. It's just mind-blowing. Like I said, how, how long have we been saying that the ISIS threat, although funded by CA, is a very real threat? You sent us El Paso. You know, we had to go and pull a stunt crossing the border, showing you that an ISIS jihadist could indeed come in through our southern borders. Everyone said that that was fear-mongering. They were crazy, that something like that could not happen. Yesterday, they're finally coming out. Mainstream media is saying it. The Department of Homeland Security is saying that there's a legitimate ISIS threat at our southern borders. You know, if we can't pick a fight, Alex, with another country, with Syria, with Russia, what are we going to do? We're going to fund a group ourselves, and we're going to have them come into the country and open up and activate these sleeper, uh, these terrorist sleeper cells. That's the only way they can get their war then, within our own country. And take our rights away.
exactly, just like we saw in Ferguson. Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. Between the two, they licked the platter clean. You get to take over the whole world with a skeleton key, magic wand that is Al-Qaeda. I'm going to come back and finish up with you and go to Leanne. I want to get the mood down there when we come back with Joe We're Banks. on the march.